Your heart flows off the forked tongue of Mr. Don Rickles. I've never met an ape. <laughs> anyway, uh... Get the black chick to back it up. Sure you go. I want to say something. I liked you the best. Ow, I swear to God. She did that. She's lonely. But take care of yourself. You too. Take care, and I'm glad the hair thing did well. <laughs> hey, you want to know something? What? I can't believe that you're Peter Pan. <laughs> no, I'll tell you this. I told you. I was on that stage when you socked Robin Williams that hard. Billy told us to duck. But Robin didn't listen. Did you know you'd hit him that hard? I planned that. I, 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 in fact, I wanted to drop him. <laughs> but, you know, he wasn't in close range, you know. And he is, you know, he's got quite a bit of hair on him. Right. You know. Right. So I wanted to give him a banana and a zoo. But I figured, and you were in the middle, and I didn't want to offend the blacks. Because yes. you have enough trouble, and I don't want to see my house burn. Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Don, I'm sitting here with Don Rickles. Now, somebody told me that you were a shy kid. I've, that's hard to believe. Were you shy and self-conscious? Well, and yeah. Well, see, my mother rested so she was the kind of woman, you know, when you went, lived in New York all my life, most of my life, and, uh, you know, she was the type of person on the bus or the subway would say, this is our street, we're getting off. And I would hide under the seat and go, give me a break, Ma, don't talk so loud. She said, you're so self-conscious, you've got to stop acting like that. But I think most actors and actresses, I can't speak for you, Whoopi, but I think most of us, because we're on the stage and out going, when we were kids, we're very inhibited. And I was kind of inhibited, you know. Yeah. My mother was sort of a Jewish General Patton. And, you know, she got up in the morning with a helmet and a sword and gave orders. And I went, give me a break, Mom, give me a break. I loved her dearly. But, you know, she's a very strong woman. And if it wasn't for her, I'd probably still be. I was the guy at the dance. You know, everybody else got the girl. Right. And I wound up in the corner with 14 beautiful girls telling jokes, but no action. <laughs> and I went home at night with the covers over my head humming a lot. So you... You didn't get any, and no play, you would, but did, was that a conscious choice to be funny rather than try to be the... Well, it was like, you know, to cover up my insecurities. I would always, you know, make fun of people. That's how it all started. You know, I'd go to a dance and say, you know, I, I saw the dress, you know, ridiculous, get rid of it, you know, whatever. Right. And uh, all those things started to become part of my personality. And that was a cover-up because I, I wasn't, uh, you know, too... Uh, too too much with the, I didn't have the confidence when it came right. to, the, to the girls. In fact, I was 38 years old before I got married. <laughs> yeah, you, you haven't seen her, my wife. <laughs> anyway, uh, but she's very, she's very beautiful. She's over the fireplace a lot. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> now that's a joke. That joke could cost me. Yes, it could. <laughs> Dearly. <laughs> like, like all the jewelry goes back in the vault without, right. without a dime from me. Anyway, so, uh, now she's a great lady. I'm very pretty. But uh, I did, that tells you something. I was yeah. 38 before I got married. I never married before. Are you a romantic kind of guy? Yeah, I sit in the house and say, oh, what time's dinner? No, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a romantic kind of guy in, uh, in a different way. Not in the sense of uh, maybe strolling in the park holding hands. But right. I do little sentimental things, you know. And uh, my wife said, my wife does talk like that. She said, you're, you're not. we went on a trip. We went to Hong Kong and Singapore. I, by the way, I loved it there because I thought I was uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Everybody was, you know, little Chinese dwarfs running around, you know. So we went on this trip together, and uh, we really spent some, what I call, good time right. together, you know. And we, uh, we do talk a lot, and that's our romance. We're good friends, yeah. you know. When you realize that you have this gift for, I don't want to call it insult, because that's not really what it is. Thank you. So many people over the years, I could never shake that word. Go on, guys. Um, it, when you discovered the gift and it took off, what kind of ride was that for you? Well, it was, it was quite a ride because by today's standards, I could, I could probably be the, the entertainer at the Vatican. 
I mean, uh, from what you hear for some of these younger right. people. And I say, my answer to that is, what they say, what do you think of the younger people with what they say on the mm -hmm. stage? And I say, hey, listen, if you last 30 years or more as I have, and I've been very fortunate, a lot of my colleagues are not there anymore. Right. And I said, if you last that long, you're doing something right. So my, my, I always used to say it's not an insult when I pick on people. It's, it's, it's a rib. It's making fun of yourself, the world, things around you without being cruel. And I think I've been blessed with the fine line, how far you can go with somebody. Right. You know, I mean, I look at your hair. It's ridiculous. But that doesn't mean I'm not being cruel. Mm. You know, you, you can tell by my face, you know, although your reaction has me a little upset. But that's not the point, you know. <laughs> you got to snap out of it, Whoopi. You got to snap out of it. But I, I, it, it's the idea of how far you can go mm. and what's in good taste. And I, I found myself that I always know the limit of, I can look at right. a person's eyes, nine out of ten will say, right. and know, hey, that's enough. You had enough with that. You're Spanish, right, my darling? Are you Spanish? Mexican? Let me see your papers. <laughs> anyway, uh, now what is your heritage? Italian? What, that's better? I'll tell you this. I'll make you and your husband feel at home. <laughs> now we need the Italian people so the Jews have ice. I'll tell you this though. <laughs> Are you Chinese? Well, get your eyes fixed. I'll tell you this. Is there anybody you don't mess with? Well, I tell you, I never pick on anybody that has a problem physically. Right. That's about it. Is the Pope safe from you? Well, I, there was a... There was a uh, Hasidic Jew that came to see my show in the Golden Nugget just recently, young fella, sat right in the front with a yarmulke on, you know what that is, the, right. the hat the Pope borrows from us. And uh, he, uh, he sat right in the front and I said, the absolute wonderful Jew, I said, and the Vatican needs us, because they can't get the hats. We have a deal with them with the hats. So we sell the hats and the Pope's nice to us. <laughs> Mother Teresa. Could you lovely mess with woman. Her? No, well, lovely woman. I don't think, and I don't think she'd come to my show. <laughs> I don't think you'd see Mother Teresa in front of round of vodka. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think you'd see that. <laughs> a round of band aids and some physicians. Pass the gauze. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> that was a good one. You got a good you. one. I got a good I one. I got to mark that down. Right, thank you. Thank Whoopi, you. Whoopi jumps in with some <laughs> humor <laughs> as I'm talking to myself for 20 minutes. That's it. Um, you, you get excited or have gotten excited about some of the people you've met in mm -hmm. your life. Mm -hmm. I do, too. I mm -hmm. get, you know, you cause it's, it's, yeah, well, because it's, it's, yeah. it's great. You're from Brooklyn. I'm from mm -hmm. Manhattan. We're better. We know this. Mm -hmm. But when you think of, you missed that. Well, that's okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're not that interesting. I know, baby. I know. I know. This is a great shot. Is this going to be on? Okay, good. <laughs> Clark Gable? Oh, yeah, he was great. Clark Gable, uh, I got him broads. Uh, he, couldn't, he couldn't handle it. I, couldn't I, I took care up. of all of right. those. But he was a, a charming man. You know, in those days, I have a story about that. When you think about Clark Gable and Gary Cooper and, and uh, go down the line of a Charlton Heston's, the Gregory Pecks, all those great actors, and even Frank, well, that's a separate story. But, uh, <laughs> but I, I must tell you that, like, like Clark Gable was the kind of guy you said in the film, you said, okay, Clark. My first picture was Run Silent Run Deep. They said, okay, Clark, uh, Rickles, you walk in and you say to him, he's a captain of a submarine, say the men are in trouble, whatever the lines were. And he'll answer you. And I'd say, uh, sir, and I don't want to do impressions now, but I will. Right. And he turned around and he said, uh, I said, sir, the, the men are in trouble. Should we take the submarine down? He said, take the submarine down a thousand feet, dive, dive, fire one, fire two. And then they'd go, cut, that's a print. Then I'd say, uh, Clark, uh, are you going to lunch? Why do we go to lunch? Let's all go to lunch. We'll have a good time. It was the same guy. Yeah. So the idea was, they, when you told them to act angry, they went, I'm angry. When you told them to act happy, they went, ha, 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 I'm happy. When you told them to act sad, gee, I'm sad. It was the same people. Yeah. Today, it's, you know, 20 minutes, Dustin Hoffman in the corner, Robert Lozier, Charlie, Charlie, <laughs> ah, Charlie, roll him, Charlie, Charlie, you know. And I say, hurry up, lunch. <laughs> Lunch is coming up. In other words, what actors, a lot of actors do today, they get themselves into a thing, which is fine. I mean, there, there's some great actors. I'm not saying that it's not so, but uh, I just say, if you say, hey, act, uh, if I'm supposed to be sad, I'll, I'll act sad. Yeah. Don Rickles, we'll be right back. Mm -hmm.